Okay, we actually had our first casualty this wagon rolled into that one. Well, we back. Gonna finish the corn silage here today, which we got rained out of the other day. Hello. My hands are full. Oh, are you a friendly? Are you friendly, doggy? Hey. Maybe when Clyde grows up a bit, I'll have to get him a dog. I had one when I was young. It's a beautiful day to be chopping corn. Look what I found at the end of the maze. A guy in a big green tractor. Starting egg bag number two. Let's go. I'm just in the field now and I just seen a comment that we should look into some, some uh, speed hitches for these wagons and we are actually, we have some order, they just didn't come in time. So hopefully by the time we start ours and we got another big job to do, hopefully they'll be here by then. And uh, yes, you're right. It would make our lives a lot easier. And we're looking forward to that. Now, if my voice sounds a little bit different today, well, I'm still under the weather. I don't know what else to tell you, but the show must go on, I guess. What has this world come to? We're cutting in the pouring rain. We're very close to done and I don't feel like having to quit and come back here. So we're gonna keep cutting. Hopefully we can get done here. Another full load. A little bit of nighttime cutting. We're almost done. Might be the last wagon here, hopefully. I'm thinking it might take one more, but I'm hoping. Well, this will be the last load of the night. Field is officially almost done. I was gonna say done, but then it's not. Last load. Okay, we are ready to roll out of here. It's like 8.30, so should be home by 9.30. Not too bad. On the road again. Home sweet home. Well, we're done for the night. See you guys in the morning. We're just gonna park these wagons and call it quits. Farmers, eh? Something about farmers and thinking they own the road. I don't know. Joking, of course, as I'm a farmer. Good morning, by the way. We are on our way. Um, Emily actually just dropped me off to pick up the diesel truck. And I'm on my way with the diesel to pick up the blower, which is at another farm that we finished corn silage and put some in his silo. So. I'm gonna get the blower for that and we're gonna take it to the next farm where we're gonna be starting silage tomorrow. We gotta to fill his silo. So you've seen a lot of corn cutting, um, but you haven't actually seen uh, much footage or any footage maybe yet of unloading into a blower. So this here is our blower. So this gets attached to the spout that goes up there's a big fan in here that goes around super fast. And then there's this auger where you unload into here, takes it into the fan, fan spinning so fast, blows it all the way up the silo. I'll show you it better when we get it set up and try to get some footage of it going up or being used. So now we're gonna put this tractor on the blower actually. We're gonna hook the baler. So this locks the pickup up. Then we can put the hydraulics on float. Well, we made sure we changed the PDO stub this time. 
So Jake is currently cleaning out the calf barn here and I think he got it washed down. Him and dad were working on pressure washing it. I'll take you inside in a second here and see how it looks after I start putting fuel in this tractor. Looks like they made this a pen here while they're cleaning the heifer barn. That actually works pretty good. I should say while they're cleaning the calf barn, not the heifer barn. Anyway, we're fueling. Let's go see how the calf barn looks. Whoa. That makes a difference. Looks like there was some dirt on there that was just wouldn't come off, but definitely looks better. And then Jake's taking the manure out and he'll bed it up, clean everything up, and the cows will come back in here. Definitely smells <coughs> quite strong right now. These aren't overly the nicest things to tow, so we're not going full speed. I'll say this screen in the tractor definitely helps me look more complex, you know? We are arriving on scene. Today these guys can rest. Tomorrow they will be hard at it. Just uh, gonna get everything greased up now and ready for tomorrow and see what else I can get done tonight while I have a chance. Um, and then it's uh, go time tomorrow. So maybe one of the most important things on the farm is greasing your equipment. <clears throat> and when you grease your equipment, you will have this happen where you run out of grease. While I was greasing, fortunately I noticed we're missing a shear bolt right in there. So we still had one left and we were still going with it, but it's loose. Like, I literally didn't even touch it before. I just realized now it's loose. That's crazy. Well, just be thankful that we were able to, nothing was broke down. And this is many, one of the many reasons it's good to grease equipment. You catch things that you wouldn't catch if you didn't. Now, that's not the only reason. I realize greasing is another reason, but I don't know how many times I've been greasing something and seen something save myself a lot of headache. Because I've seen that. Also take this shield for instance. See this? I don't know what's going on, but it's sliding off. So I'm going to pull it up. Tighten it up a bit. So it clamps down harder, I guess. And keep an eye on it. Okay. It's another early morning. We're starting here. And uh, farm's not far away. Everything's greased and ready to go. So we should be able to get a good start here. Well, oh, dare. Easy gear. Uh-oh, I know what happened. Quite the hill here. I actually thought the string broke that uh, kept, the, kept the hood going down, but I don't know what happened. Apparently that's not what happened. So anyway, what I was gonna say is we are working on opening this field. Here's my voice. It's starting to go because of the cough I have, I think. So, that's what it is. Well, this is going to be an interesting hill to um, unhook wagons on. I don't know if there's a flat spot on it, so yikes. Might be in for an interesting day. So we got 190 horsepower on the blower, so we can unload fairly fast. I'm back for another load. I'm just gonna say it, this hill here is menacing. Like, when you're coming down with the full load, it's sketchy. 
Okay, we actually had our first casualty this wagon rolled into that one. We pushed it over now. Nothing seems to be wrecked too bad, but it's not good. So we knew this field would be an issue with how hilly it is. Um, the owner here is helping unhook and hook on the wagons, and he unhooked the wagon. It rolled into our empty wagon, so a full wagon into an empty wagon. And I had a sickening feeling when I hit, but luckily everything came to a standstill. No huge damage was done that I know of. That I know of. Um, I guess we'll find out in the future if there is, but I think we're all good. We're in the clear. Time to go down this roller coaster of a hill. It's actually not too bad, but I definitely wouldn't want to do it if it would be muddy. So let me tell you the story a little bit of how we got into doing custom corn chopping. So it'll be three falls ago, um, just before harvest, the guy, we used to get someone in with a pole type to uh, do our custom corn chopping. And then um, he also did our neighbors. And just before we were gonna do ours, he had a wagon that rolled and he was kind of thinking of getting out of it anyway. So he, you know, he didn't want to leave us hanging. So he wondered if we could find another wagon. He would just still came and did it. Well, we found these three wagons. So we were like, okay, we're gonna buy them. We got a fairly good deal on them. And then uh, all of a sudden we were like, why don't we get a harvester as well and just do everything ourselves. And then, um, we talked to our neighbor and asked, you know, can we get your work too if we get a harvester? And then, you know, it makes more sense and we can kind of make the cash flow a bit better. And uh, yeah, he was into that. And so we bought the harvester and we started cutting. We actually rented a harvester and then bought our harvester like halfway through harvest. So, um, so we got bought our har bought our harvester in the middle of uh, corn chopping that year and we started cutting and I believe if I'm not mistaken we that year we just did our, ourselves and our neighbors I think yeah and then the next year we had there were some new farmers um, that wanted looking for corn someone to chop their corn so I reached out and we got and we slowly just built a few customers here and there every year from then on out and uh, we don't do we do a fair bit. I think we do, um, it'll be six customers this year maybe. And, uh, which isn't crazy, but for us it uh, definitely keeps us busy with a full type harvester. Um, this year's been a pretty good year. It's been kind of drawn out. Our corn's a bit later, so it's not pushing. And other customers' corn's a bit later, so it's not pushing. Um, but some years when it happens all at once, I, uh, we're gonna have to go day and night, but this year's been pretty, pretty nice and a bit more relaxing so yeah that's that's the story of how we got into custom corn chopping and got into getting our own corn chopper as well and with that being said the wagon is almost empty so far I haven't kept dad waiting hardly at all so that's good they're bringing in some top saw here looks like they're making a garden ones well, we took a little break, Dad and I. Jake came and picked us up. And we went, if you if you look in the back here, you can see some new tools. New tools. Um, we went to a open house uh, tool place down the road. So we got some tools and we're on our way back now. So a nice little break in the middle of the day. They had hamburgers there. Did you enjoy your hamburger, Liam? Yep, well, we all did. And now we're on our way back and we gotta get some more work done. And we're back at it again. We actually have the quick hitches at our shop, but I gotta get them set up yet. Just waiting for Dad. He's coming up here. We gotta unhook up here because there's such a hill here. Home sweet home. 
I didn't video much at the end there. I kind of got busy and uh, we finished up that field. Got the silo full. We're going to go back tomorrow morning and top it up. Um, probably one or two loads should do that. And then we're going to be unhooking everything, getting into manure hauling and stuff, and planting wheat, soybeans, that kind of thing. But unfortunately, that'll be the end of this video. So all that stuff will be happening in the next video. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. But thanks guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. Also, go ahead, share it to any friends that enjoy farming videos or videos like this. Also, you can hit the thumbs up. Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it.